Hello, everyone, and welcome right back into Studio 44. We're back at it again because we had another late entry to the 2023 Stadium of the Year contest. Braves fan gave us a couple of these stadiums to showcase earlier in the year, and he has a new one that he wanted to include in the contest. Now, I didn't want to go back-to-back super short three stadiums and done episodes, so I decided I'm going to combine these three with a couple of stadium requests that I have gotten recently, not only for that reason, but I also don't want to get too far behind in stadium requests. So uh, you're going to see these three for the contest, and we are going to see a couple stadiums from the 24 version of the game. I'm excited to get in there. And then we might also see one or two final 23, but if I can access them in the 24 game, I'll show them from there. So... Let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into some stadiums from Braves fan 112296. You may remember this park from an extravaganza video not too long ago. This is Grizzlies Park. I remember we were showing this right in the middle of all the stadiums that were made for my brother. So uh, this was not made for the RDL. Total coincidence. It's in Blue Ridge, Georgia, altitude of 1,200 feet, built in 2023. And I remember really liking the stadium a lot. I remember your attention is drawn right to this prop that kind of serves as that yellow line above the home run fence. That should be optional for every stadium created. But um, I love how he did right field here, how he you slant back this wall so that the fans here can see a little bit more of right field than they normally would if it was just 90 degree angle from you know the home run fence and i remember liking this two-tiered look as opposed to like an upper deck kind of situation definitely remember the scoreboard hole where you can go right through maybe fans hanging out back here and then they had the same thing in left field and you had the scoreboard scoreboard walk and the grill and a nice patio with some seats in there. Oh, a scoreboard on the other side, too. That's a good idea. And then maybe you can hang here. Maybe you can hit, hop over that wall and watch from behind that fence. But I remember the double fountain. That's a cool idea. And then left field kind of has the same thing with the raised wall as opposed to a second deck. Pretty standard all the way around. Behind home plate and down the line. Yes, this is a very good stadium. I remember being sad that it wasn't offered for Mark because it might have uh, mixed up the competition a little bit. Very, very nice. You got the hill surrounding the batter's eye and some signs mixed in the middle. Out of town scoreboard and some leisures above with the Grizzly chilling out behind everybody. Hills in the background with the radio tower and the water tower. Very nice. The stadium is fantastic. One of my favorite, well, it's my favorite infield pattern. But again, I don't understand why they had to have this weird X of dark stripes. And then down the line, I think it looks crappy too. But what are you going to do? There's your thumbnail right there, Braves fan. <laughs> All right, Grizzly Park looking very, very nice. Grizzlies Park, excuse me. All right, Braves fan, moving on to your second stadium. Welcome to the Riverbank, Akmulgee River Park. I think I'm saying that right. Ma Ma Macon, Mason, Macon, Georgia. Altitude of 1,000 feet, built in 2023. I think we showed this one, too. Maybe not. I don't know, but that's why I said welcome to the riverbank. I caught a glimpse of that as I was uploading the stadium. That looks really nice. Perfect scoreboard fit. I love how we kind of frame this fountain. The beautiful set of stairs. Oh, I like putting the statues in every corner of this fountain. Very nice. Waterfall goes all the way around the batter's eye with a hill in front. Right field looks nice as well. Another scoreboard. <laughs> I don't know why I like making that sound. I think it's from uh, 
I think I get it from a like a viral video where this guy pranks people. He he like sounds like a little kid and he calls people to say, "I saw a car drive by." He went, "No." <laughs> Oh, look at the river he's got out back here, lined with these trees. Gorgeous. Perfect little bridge back there. Hospital across the street. Oh, it goes all the way down. That looks like tedious work because they're not grouped. Holy crap. Maybe he put them all there and then ungrouped them? I don't know. Whew, that's a lot of work. Very clean and professional looking and, you know, it could be a real stadium. Oh, I didn't see this back here. We've got the stage set up. You can have little concerts after the show or before the show, before the game. Whew. My brain's fried, people. At work, I'm trying to get as much last-minute stuff done for whoever's going to be uh, holding the fort down for me while I'm out for a month. Knee surgery is a week and two days from today. Using this building as a little entrance gate. Very, very nice. Braves fan with a strong second entry. Oh, I got to do the lights. Takes so much longer sometimes. You ever notice that? Yeah, I like that outfield pattern too, but I'm not crazy about the blank infield pattern. Again, the stupid down the line. I mean, I guess some stadiums do that. They kind of finish off where the striping ends, I guess, is why they do it. I don't know. Seems like you should do that in foul territory, not on the field. I just don't think that the show executes it as well in the game. Graphically. I like how we put these two lights together. I think that looks better. Sorry, I didn't mean to break up your river. I think that looks better than just using one of those. I like that. I know it's kind of a weird thing to draw attention to, but <laughs> I didn't notice this building out here too. Kind of background. Yeah, very oh, he's got some uh he's got a little little league complex out here. Or maybe this is like training complex. Like it might and like in I know spring training complexes have fields all over the place. All right, Braves fan. Oh, I didn't know you could. They really had that under there. I was like walking up the stairs onto the stands. Hey, there it is. Hello, hello. All right, thanks, Braves fan. Stadium two looks nice. Now this is a brand new stadium from Braves fan. Let's take a look at the Coliseum. Here it is, fellas. The Coliseum in Rome, Georgia. Altitude of a thousand feet. Built in two thousand twenty-four. That's a cool idea. Calling it the Coliseum in Rome, Georgia. I like that a lot. This is the latest from Braves fan, 11-22-96. This, see, this is a great idea. I wish we could pull this off with blue fences. I used this a lot in the last version of the game when you could put, I'm sorry, in the 22 version of the game because this is not the last version of the game. But in the 22 version of the game, you could put blue fences right next to each other and show behind the scoreboard or the home run fence. Grr. Using that Bowman sign as the line above the home run fence. Very, very cool. 330 down the line. Putting it in this upper deck is going to be a challenge. But, oh, I like this. It's a smaller wall on top of that second deck to create the third deck. Dig it. And you got Just for Kids and the grill with an escalator going down to this Fun area behind the batter's eye. I like that a lot. That's fun. Then you got a scoreboard so you don't have to miss anything while you're back here checking things out. You got a restaurant and the playground. Fun. Aloha Jones. And then here's the entranceway or maybe just a way to check out behind the stadium. Braves fan appears to be a fellow hill guy. He likes his hills. I dig it. Very nice. Very clean. Very professional. I mean, they could easily stand in for a major league stadium. I like the clubhouse out here. Of course, now you can have people chilling out right in there. 
I like this too. That fits. It's like perfect in there. Oh, look at this. This looks really nice. Go straight and then curvy and straight again. That looks really cool. What a clever way to take care of that corner. I like that a lot. That looks really sharp. You got a little Hall of Fame area in here with some statues and another just for kids. And what is this? I never really paid attention to the treehouse, I guess. Okay. These always remind me of the cruise lines because every cruise ship, well, at least all the Royal Caribbean cruises I've been on, I've never been on a carnival or anybody else, but they have all these little bars and lounges and they have all these weird names where you just sit in there and drink or have a coffee or a slice of pizza. Another good use of hills to take up the corner space. I like that too. Very nice, Brace fan. Very simple, very compact, and very, you know, very, very well put together. See, now this is frustrating that you can't do this. Maybe, you, maybe Braves fan, for a little tip, maybe use an anomaly for that because the anomalies don't worry about the batter's eye. They have no effect. The batter's eyes have no effect on anomalies. So if you want to keep that home run line over center field, that's a suggestion for you. And, of course, you can start a stadium with anomalies if you check out Sewell21's page in the vault. And you can find Start Here Field, I think it's called. Start Here Park. It has the batter's eyes anomalies, and it has the these home run fence props lifted from the home run fences and able to use outside of the stadium or outside of the field, I guess I should say. But here's your thumbnail shot again. Very, very nice. Let's take a picture. Click. South Park fans? Anyone? Anyone? Nope. All right. That is your third stadium. From Braves fan, 11 22, 96 Was this his best stadium? Or was it Akmulji River Park? Was it Grizzlies Park? It's up for you to decide by looking for the poll posted shortly after or during the premiere of this video to scroll through and vote. Don't forget to vote for the other stadiums that you may have seen simply by clicking on my channel. And if you look down a little bit, there's a bunch of options underneath my channel. You scroll through until you find community. Click on community and all the polls will be right there. I think they show you who's in the lead, percentage-wise anyway, um, if, once you vote. So, yeah, you got to vote if you want to see the results. You got to vote. Must vote. Rock the vote. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for the stadium of the year portion of this video let's check out some new stadiums submitted by creators some familiar to the channel of course and maybe one or two new guys let's let's take a look here is one of those new users to studio 44 our galladay gives us ballpark by the sea in seaside florida with an altitude of 100 feet built in 2024 and i was very disappointed to read <laughs> I mean, I should expect it to read his comments and it tells him that he's had props disappearing and upload delays. I don't know if he created this in the new version of the game or if it carried over from 23, but oh, he made it in the new version of the game because we have standing room props. Oh, look at these guys hanging out in the bullpen. That's awesome. That's a good look at this. That's new. I don't think I've seen that one yet. That's fantastic. He's got this guy subbing for home plate. And he's got this curved hay from the, that's nice, nicely done. The laser ribbons do look nicer in the 24 version of the game, I must say. Look, at the fans can just come hang out in the bullpen. Is that what's going on here? Damn, better not do this in Boston. Freaking fans go in there and rip Yankees apart. I hear some brutal things get said to visiting teams especially Yankees now see how nice this looks with all these guys hanging out up here fantastic is that part of the prop of the scoreboard I guess I don't use this one enough or is that new I don't know I, I don't use a lot of the smaller scoreboards especially if they have a big frame with them so yeah that looks great 
And then, of course, you're hitting the ball right into the water out here. A bunch of boats waiting for a home run ball. Oh, that looks really cool. Right on top of the water with boats parked all the way around. Nice. Our Galladay. I hope I'm saying that right. Oh, look at this. Two cruise ships with hit it here signs on them. Can you get one out there? I doubt it. Even if it was shallow over here. Yeah, 375 down the line. You ain't hit one out of that park. Unless you're standing in right field. This is a cool little corner. Jana's. Now that's a cool way to highlight the home run numbers. That ugly sign. It's a way to make it look better. He's using regular letters. Looks like the I or the it's the it's the I, right? Two, four, eleven, and forty-four. I like the forty-four. You got the hit here, cafe. Awesome standing room fans chilling out down here. I like the color of the seats too. So he's got yep, he's got that big old prop. See. This is what we need. We need a nice little small section of fans or seating, you know, that is in regular seating. So you can do stuff like this without having to use so much memory and just bury all those guys. The Seaside Sailors. All right. I like that team name. You got a harbor over here or dock. Very nice. Hot air balloons catching the game. Outside looks amazing. Look at this, like the two-tiered entry. That looks really nice. Welcome to Studio 44, buddy. Ballpark by the sea labeled out here. I think we need bigger letters, too. Am I right? I think that's a new prop that I didn't realize we needed before. But look how small those letters are. We need some bigger letters. That looks good, lining that up like that. Oh, these guys are chilling out way out here by themselves. They don't give a shit about no baseball game. We're chilling out in the water. <laughs> All right, let's turn the lights on. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Don't worry, you can say uh, beautiful three times in a row. Beetlejuice won't show up. Same scoreboard. Guys hanging out on the beach down here. Excellent. Welcome to Studio 44 again. Beautiful submission for your first stadium. More standing room fans down here. See, that looks good hanging out by the bar stools. Excellent. Thanks for joining the community. I can't wait to see more from you, buddy. Let's move on for now, though. We do indeed have multiple new creators to Studio 44 today. Dune Event Field. Dune Event? Dune Event Field? In Owenton, Kentucky. Altitude of 1,000 feet. Built in 2023. The stadium comes to us from Dakota 444. And it looks like a pretty simple stadium, but... It looks really nice. Got it looks lot. like a whole little uh, complex here with the football field and the track. Got a basketball court with a gymnasium. Little league field over here or a high school field. Trees surround the main field. Now, is this like a real place that you recreated or is it like something that you just came up with? I mean, it's pretty simple. There's not a whole lot to say about it, but it looks pretty fun. You got a little... Bleacher section down here with concessions in the back. Yeah, it just it looks like a place you go play uh, your summer league games, little league fields, or your travel leagues in high school and junior high and stuff like that. You got the little cage out here. Yeah, reminds me a lot of those. No big huge scoreboard or fancy stands or seating or anything. You got the old school scoreboard. Old school scoreboard on the football field, too. All right. Very nice. Yeah, I'm guessing that's that's what's going on. You got Dune Event Field over here. Nice little sign. American flags behind the batter's eye. We'll flip them lights on. 
very, very nice. Again, not a lot to say about it. It's pretty simple, but it looks good. It's fun, especially if it's something that you created where you play. You know, it's got to be cool to kind of, you know, f f dig through YouTube and you run into your complex, your local complex where you play ball. Some chain fences over here. All right, very nice. Well, Dakota, four for four. Thanks for the contribution. Very cool. Appreciate it, buddy. Welcome to the channel. Okay, we've seen a stadium from this gentleman fairly recent. Fairly recently? Fairly recent? Recently? <laughs> I don't know. Fresh 1X gives us Fresh 1 Field 1. Asbury Park in New Jersey. 2,500 feet built in 2022. And this is the home of the New Jersey Pitbulls. Now, I'm guessing it was built in 2022 because you started with Dairy Park or Sewell's Batter's Eye Park. But I really like the idea of surrounding center field with the Twins anomaly. Very nice. Blended right in over here. Excellent. That's a cool little section right there. Using the end cap as a wall background. I dig it. Oh, look at this. That's cool. That is perfect. That is the San Diego batter's eye, is it not? Yes, it is. And then putting the statue on top. Very nice. Are, the, are those statues a little bit different? That looks like a different color to me. I didn't realize. Did all these always have uniforms on them before? I always thought these were from... Yeah, the, this, that dude has the Orioles on him. So does he. I always thought they were from Detroit. Maybe the other ones are. And that's got Philly on him. Oh, look at this with the windows in there. Oh, that. Oh, that's okay. It's just a similar brick. For a second, I thought he had windows poking through through this thing. But it's the brick of this building. Look at these guys hanging out in the grass. Excellent. Is that part? Oh, you put all these little plants in, right? Where did these all come? Oh, there we go. Okay. Now I got you. All right. Sorry. Some, <laughs> so I should be showing your stadium instead. I'm trying to figure out how you did it. Coffee and teas. Brew hoo hoo. Out here in left field. Can you put one up in here? Oh, wow. Look at this area back here. Very nice. You got to think like the team store and maybe like a cool team museum or something is in there. Surrounded by the fountain. That looks great. How did you do this border? Oh, that comes that comes with that prop. Okay. Then you just plant that fountain right in the middle and it looks amazing. I love this. You know I like how when that middle deck kind of wraps around. Always looks really nice. Fresh one field. From Fresh 1X. Ooh, you can hit one through with, over here. More anomalies lining up this right field section. Awesome. Yeah, this looks really nice, too. People are hanging out up here. So good. See, it's unbelievable the difference having people out there makes. You got a boat out there in the water. Lining up the upper deck with that one building. What's going on behind home plate? Okay. All right. People are hanging out in this grassy area up here. And then you got the anomaly underneath with people inside. Love it. Kind of a new luxury seating type thing. Again, I, I do like the luxury seating, but, I mean, at the same time, you like to be out, you know, part of the crowd. But that looks really cool. And I know a lot of stadiums do that, where they have the restaurant areas. Like, Yankee Stadium has a section like that, and Cleveland used to, but they're turning it into real seats now, right? Flipping the lights on. Fresh one. This is gorgeous. I remember really liking your uh, first one that you sent to us, too. Did you send us one or two? I don't remember. 
so many stadiums. I apologize for sometimes mixing people up, but Fresh One X with Fresh One Field. Gorgeous. Love it. All right. I think I have two more stadiums from two familiar faces, and we'll wrap things up with them. Please accept my apologies because digging through my comments, I found Franz Field in Portland, Oregon. This is submitted to us by Mark Op, another new creator to Studio 44. And just looking at the thumbnail real quick, it looked really great. Portland, Oregon, home of the Portland Pioneers. I like this corner. And the lighthouse with on the, the deck going right out into the water. Oh, you know, Steve Stewart's hitting. I want to hit a home run over the boat into the water. Oh, no, the boat's in foul territory. Unless uh, right here, right here. I'm going right, right here with Steve Stewart. Oh, look how it's lined up with the arch. Fantastic. Again, I just saw a stadium with this. I think it was that, like, um, like a Little League park or a... Uh, local town park that uh, Al Pickles showed us using this fence. It makes total sense. I mean, because normally it doesn't look very baseball fieldish, right? But if you put it out here in this little grass area with the water, it looks amazing. And he put a little ramp up here to get up there. He's got some picnic benches there surrounding the gorilla. Excellent. Very creative hill back here with the pine trees on it. Excellent scoreboard for the stadium. Very quirky dimensions. Dude, Mark Op, I love it. Holy crap, I love this one. Look at all these tables lined up right along the water. Who wouldn't want to sit, have the hot dog, watch the game, and then between innings, look at this amazing view. Now, did this carry over from the last version of the game? Because it think, it, you'd think you want to have some standing room fans out here. Excellent. Wow, I love this. Dude, this is honestly one of my favorite stadiums I've ever shown. It looks so freaking good. This right field looks amazing. You got the City of Roses. I don't think you're putting one up there, though. Right field looked very deep. 346. Yeah, you ain't putting one up there. Oh, I like this corner. Now, please forgive me. Welcome to France Field. Please for, forgive me. I'm not making fun of your your gamer tag. But when I saw it was made by Mark Op, I immediately went to Sonic the Hedgehog. Have you ever played an underground level? Or not underground. An underwater level? Hell, Sonic could be out here right now looking for those bubbles. And when you hit those bubbles, it goes up. up. <laughs> so when I, I saw your name, I'm expecting it to go Mark Op. <laughs> Again, I'm not making fun of it. It's just it's just what popped into my head. So maybe Sonic's in here right now, collecting rings, looking for tails, collecting air bubbles, and going mark up, dude. I'm I'm blown away. This stadium is absolutely fantastic. I freaking love it. It's it's lining up to a water in a way I've never seen. You know, it's so unique. Oh, we got to turn the lights on. I bet it looks amazing at night. Hell yeah. Again, I am i don't have enough nice things to say about this. Gorgeous. If you made this in 24, we have an early stadium of the year candidate. Wow. This, I mean, I, th that looks fantastic. Reminds me a lot of... Right field at is that Oracle Park? Is that where the Giants play now? Is that the name of the stadium? It was once Pac Bell Park, wasn't it? I don't remember. So glad I dug through my comments a little bit further because man, I almost missed the stadium today. Ugh. Gorgeous. I don't know what else to say about it. Mark up. Welcome to Studio 44. I can't wait to see what else you have in store for us. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get to those other guys. 
Ballpark in Anaheim, Anaheim, California, altitude of 2,300 feet, built in 2024. We have the first stadium of 2024 from our good buddy, Sandman Dan. And look at all this freaking fountain work out here. Excellent. You got fountain below, and then you got this little concourse or bridge with more fountain in the background. Awesome little right field over here. And what's going on up here? You made a little custom uh, freaking infield or wiffle ball field with statues playing ball. Awesome. Garden of Dreams. I freaking love it. How did you do all these? Is it all concourse? Yeah, it's all concourse. What made the base? Oh, he used the thing. Dan, awesome, buddy. Some retired numbers with some ball. Yeah, see, maybe these guys are from Detroit. That, I think, makes sense. And then the, little, the other guys are from, like, Baltimore and Philly. Okay. I do remember seeing... I've been to Camden Yards. I do remember seeing uh, some statues there. Look at these clubhouses over the waterfalls. Out freaking standing. You know how I like my layers. Great different decks. Again, looks so much better with people. It's so fun. Very, very quirky dimensions. Dan, excellent work as always, my friend. Paradise Dining with a bunch of umbrella tables and people hanging out. Very creative use of this bridge. I saw someone else do this recently, hiding the little hut thingies and using the multi-level decks. Looks awesome. And then behind is nothing normal at all. That looks great. And you got the St. Louis Arch and the big A back here. You got a nice little entry. With the glove and that's that's cool. Concrete and then using the grass. Sandman Dan, what an excellent first showing. In MLB the show twenty four. I can't get over that little garden in center field. That looks freaking awesome. So cool. I'm excited. You guys got me excited about Stadium Creator again, even though it it's very similar to last year's tool just having the people you know and who knows we could be getting an update any minute now i said it in a comment about a month away from the game's release last year i recorded another video showing i think it was the dinosaur props <sighs> but at least it was an update so you know it gives us hope that we will get updates soon I just wish they would do things like give us different home run fall wall patterns, fix the windows, give us the home run lines, put the distances on the walls. Dan, I can't say enough cool things about it. Very nice. Gorgeous. Ugh. Turns out <laughs> I'm going through my comments. I have so I have two more stadiums to show you. Now I really have two. And one of them is another familiar face. Well, they're both familiar faces. One's a familiar face from this video alone. So let's get to it. I lied again. <laughs> Remember how I told you when I find a cool stadium in the vault? I feel... <laughs> Remember... <laughs> How I always tell you when I found a cool stadium in the vault, I feel the obligation to showcase it. Well, I was just about to look up my last user's stadium, or my next user's stadium. And the first stadium uploaded is this super fun idea. Look at what this freaking stadium is. It's Super Mario Field. <laughs> I freaking love it. I'm a Mario guy. This this will give me an opportunity to bring this up. I love Mario. I love Super Mario. I grew up with the original Nintendo Entertainment System. I was like 
I want to say third, fourth, fifth grade or something like that when, when the first one came out and it was a big hit. I love the Mario Maker games. I love making levels. Is it something that would interest you if when the Switch comes out and there's Mario Maker 3, if I play some levels that you create, that I create, or do I, or should I make another channel for it? Let me know. Comments. That's for a little later time. But look at how fucking awesome this is. Using the haystacks as the question marks and making the clouds and using the statues to jump up and hit the question marks. Come on. And then you got the dinosaur heads acting as Goombas. Excellent. Oh, then you got a little jump. <laughs> so good. Have you guys seen this one before? It's the first time I've ever seen it. And I don't see any standing room fans anywhere, so I don't know if it's... Oh, my God. Is this... Where does it start? Is this the... It's got to be here, right? Super Mario Field. Yeah, this looks like 1-1, one, one, right? And then one of these is where you go down, and then the extra block, the extra life is right here. Yeah, this is 1-1. One, one. Yep, it's so 1-1. One, one. World 1, level 1 of Mario World. Or Mario Brothers. So fucking fun. Oh, my God. I love it. <laughs> now look at the castle. <laughs> look, the foul pole serves as the flag. And then you jump in and there's the castle. Oh, my God. I'm in love. I'm in love. Oh, boy. I don't know what all this is, but... Uh, who the hell cares? 1-1 one, one is so good. I don't get the point of these guys either, but... Holy hell. I don't get the point of the airplane either. Fucking awesome. <laughs> who thinks of this stuff? Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my God. I love it. All right. Let's get back to the one I was supposed to show you. Here's the other one Ray wanted me to show you. Wells Fargo Park in RNJ City, North Carolina. Altitude of 2,000 feet. Built in 2024. Now, this one has quite a few more details to it, and I dig it. Oh, I like this big wall of luxury seating out here in right field. And you got the middle deck that curves around. Very nice. Ooh, clever place for the steakhouse. Another cool little corner over here. And a big lion. What is this? A tiger? Tiger, right? Yeah, tiger. Surrounded by the trees. I love it. I like this building popping through the stands here. And you got the Hall of Fame section right in Meow. With some statues and the Hall of Fame circle. Clubhouse on the roof out here. Some stands on top of the scoreboard. And then another fun little section over here. Oh, look at all these guys are crowded, slammed into here. Hope the fire department doesn't see that. Man, that looks like it's... Uh, Reach maximum occupancy. Reminds me of that scene in Independence Day where they're welcoming the aliens in L.A. on top of the roof. There's no... Okay. <laughs> Just checking to make sure there's no alien ship above them. I'm about to blow them up. I like the concession stands here. Is that like... Is that supposed to be like... Yeah, it looks like it's like a little luxury seating, in, or luxury seating instead. Because you got guys hanging out in here. Yeah, this looks really cool out here in right center. Very nice, Ray. Ray Ratliff, Ray Raider. He, I guess he says Ray Raider is like an emergency because his sister <laughs> uses Ray Ratliff to play Fortnite. So sometimes he has to bump, uh, hop on his Ray Raider. Uh, some cool little options for the outside of the stadium. Makes it cool, like a little entry gate kind of situation. 
All right, very nice. Flipping them, lights on. Wow, I did not expect this to turn into the marathon video that it did. I want, I want to do a quick video and upload it because, like I said, I want to get all the tallies of the stadiums by Sunday, the 31st. Today is Wednesday, the 27th. I just released a video last night. I'm super tired because I was up late doing it. Now I'm dropping my controller. Look at this. Look at this. What's happening? I'm a mess. I'm a freaking mess. I'm leaving that in the video too, damn it. <laughs> oh boy. I amuse myself. All right, Ray. Thank you for the stadium. I've now been recording for an hour and 14 minutes. Oh, what's over here? Don't worry, this video won't be an hour and 14 minutes. I always cut out all the uploading and pauses where I have to text my wife and stuff. All right. I hope I covered it all. Thanks again, Ray. Quick to give us some stadiums. I love it. Okay. Final stadium by another familiar face. Okay, we've come back full circle. We have a no-name park. In Baseballville, USA, altitude of 1,100 feet, built in 2024. And this comes to us from none other than the person who started this video in the first place, Braves fan 112296. We, we might have a record, four stadiums for one creator in one video. Um, again, I was just going through my comments and realized I had a lot of stadiums backed up. So I wanted to make sure I don't get backed up for when the contest is over. We can start fresh and go from there. Again, that reminds me, if your stadium fell through the cracks, please do not be scared to post it in the comments again. Nice little reminder is always good. I'm not mad. I'm not offended. I'm not thinking, oh, I'm taking up my comments at the same ballpark. Blah, 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 blah. That's not the case. Sometimes Sewell brought this to my attention recently. A lot of YouTubers, unless they have like a public account, you don't know if the comments or notifications show up. If I get a subscriber who doesn't have a public account, apparently it doesn't show me that they have subscribed. So I wonder if that's the case with some of these comments. Maybe, they're, maybe they have a private account, and when they post a comment, I don't get a notification from it. So I'm starting to wonder if that's the case. I think I'm going to start a Facebook page for Studio 44 while I'm out with my knee surgery and have everything go through that. Would that be a pain in the ass? Let me know in the comments below if Facebook's an okay idea. I know Harrison Sawyer and Sewell both use the Google Forms thingy. Maybe I could do that too. I don't know. But again, back to Braves fan. Gorgeous park. Another double fountain in right or in left center field, excuse me, with a plaza level seating section right above it. I dig it. Then you got another hill over here. 330 down the line with another plaza level seating attached to that circling around it looks pretty standard and then in right field you got the braves building right that's part of uh the braves field what is the why can't i think of the braves field name sunkist is that right you got the royal scoreboard in dead center field and a fun little concourse behind the batter's eye Hit a hair cafe sign with the hills surrounding the batter's eye. Looking good. Again, remember my anomaly tip. You could use like the red mark from this thing right here at the base of that. That could go all the way around. Or I've used the, the blue and green batter's eyes before for uh, the ballpark at the Moonshot Casino. Yeah, another nice little stadium. Looking good from a bird's eye view. We'll turn the lights on when we get behind home plate. Excellent. Looks beautiful inside the park as well. I've said it before. I'll say it again. Baseball games are so much more fun to attend at night. I love nothing better than being at a baseball park at a night game. My favorite thing to do in the whole world, I guess besides playing baseball, watching a game, big league game, in a big league stadium at night. <laughs> and we're finally done. 
That's that's. I think that's the first time I've ever surprised myself. <laughs> and a stadium extravaganza video. Wow, I got on to throw together Braves, uh, Brave fans stadium submissions for the contest, and I end up showing like thirty more stadiums. But hey, that was a fun video to record. I'm I'm very excited to get this one edited and out to you guys. Hopefully before Sunday. Again, final call. If I don't have stadiums by tomorrow, Thursday night, because I'll have, well, I guess I, I said Friday before, right? It's Friday. I need your stadiums by Friday night. I will have time to edit now because tomorrow is my last day of work before I go on spring break. And then my surgery is on the Friday of spring break. I work at a school. So if you have a stadium you want to showcase on the channel, leave the name of that stadium with your gamer tag. Please, the gamer tag is very, very important because so many different stadiums have the same name, and I want to make sure I get the right version. And, and a lot of times people re-upload your stadiums, and I don't know if they tinkered with it and messed with things that you didn't want messed with. So I want to show your version of the stadium, not someone else's. So please, 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 please leave the gamer tag along with the stadium name. We're still taking... Stadiums for the RDL stadium search, but that's wrapping up because with spring break coming up, I'm going to create the Ricky Davis League roster, plug it in to another fictional roster. If you happen to know of one that is complete or near complete, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to have one near complete. Don't forget, Al Pickles has those stadiums ready for the Stadium Tinker Challenge. That might be fun to do now that we have the new version of the game. Uh, they should be in the vault for this version of the game, and you can plug in real players, and you can put a fancy canoe in there. Huh? Al Pickles, right? You built those stadiums just so someone would put one of those fancy canoes in there. I know it. I knew it. I freaking knew it, Al. <laughs> oh, what else? Don't forget to vote on your favorite stadiums from each creator who entered the contest. We're now at 11, so I guess I'm going to have... Uh, a three and then four twos and then we'll vote them down again i'm going to draw them out of a hat or maybe we'll do something different maybe i'll just try to go by total votes um i did reach out to sewell i haven't heard back from him yet we may announce this as early as next week and we might do it on his channel so be on the lookout for that but stay tuned um, we've been looking for a reason to collab again so be on the lookout for that it could happen very soon don't forget, check out Respect the Pick here on YouTube or anywhere you get your podcasts. Please, 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 please like and subscribe. I'm about 190 subs away from my goal, at least my very first goal. I would love to hit that 500 number, and uh, I would really appreciate it if you liked the video as well. So thank you again so much for watching <laughs> this shit show of a video, and we'll see you very soon.